and you guys are good. Uh, so it's uh, six to one. We have one on who we're expecting. So uh, I guess we can call the meeting to order at this time. Uh, Helen, I guess you could take it as 6.02 off of mine. I know you and I usually don't agree with the time. <laughs> I'll put 6.01. <laughs> Excellent. 1,800 Romeo. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I was trying to keep it simple because you know, I was told I was a civilian today. Um, <laughs> um, and um, if we look at our agenda, uh, looks like we have... Um, the floor open for public comments. Um, and I think for the public, Ms. Taylor, uh, Kathy, uh, if you guys want, if you guys have anything. And Doug, you know where I sit, where I am right now. So if you need to jump in and uh, redirect me the, the proper way, by all means, I could use all the help possible. <laughs> you, you're doing good. <laughs> uh, Ms. Taylor, do you have uh, anything for us? Uh, not at this time. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, Mary, did any members of the public contact you to participate? No. No. Okay. No public members. Okay. Uh, but Ryan, this this did go out on um, the town's website with all the information to come in. If anybody from the public okay. come in, so it was all post posted. Okay. All right, um, so with uh, no pu public comments, um, I believe we could move forward to the March 11th uh, minutes and we could move to approve those uh, minutes from the March 11th meeting. So I, still, oh, right. I second. Okay. All in um, favor? <laughs> <laughs> all in favor? <laughs> All right. Anyone against it? Okay, the yeses outweigh the noes, so we are approving the minutes from March 11th, 2020. All right, uh, I want to, you know, give Helen a little time so she's not... Uh, I'm good. Passionate. All right, good. All right. Um, my, it might be my lagging, this frontier of... Uh, um, are there, so we'll, move on to, uh, we'll move on to letters and announcements. Um, I know I already asked you first, uh, if you had anything. Um, I could have waited to letters and announcements, but are there any uh, letters and announcements that need to be presented to the committee at this time? Not that I'm aware of, Ryan. Thank you and the committee. We have a new... Uh, a new person joining in? Yeah, it's Rick Newell. Oh, hey, Rick! Hey, Rick. Hey. Right there, Welcome. Okay. Can you hear us, Rick? Yeah. All right. So we're currently um, we're currently at letters and announcements uh, as far as the agenda. Uh, since you jumped in, would you happen to have any letters or announcements that you'd like to share to the uh, commission? You know what? Who's this, Brian? This is Ryan Biggs. All right, I just lowered my TV. I couldn't hear what you said. Oh, I apologize. Uh, we're we're currently at letters and announcements uh, for the agenda. Uh, would you happen to have any letters or announcements that you'd like to share with the commission? Uh, I just want to thank everybody who participated in the Memorial Day ceremonies. Uh, you know what? Develop that a little bit. You mean nationally or in your heart? We didn't really have an event, did we? Yeah, no, just... we we uh, we laid the reefs there, and the mayor came, okay. and we had a firing squad. What's his name? John. Uh, I forgot his last name, but he's from Unico. He got a firing squad and a flyover, but. Uh, there was maybe seven of us from uh, the two people from from uh, Parks and Rex, the mayor, the assistant mayor, and the old and Danny, and I don't know. There was maybe about eight or nine of us, and we did the ceremonies down at the uh, 
at the monuments, and then uh, I took a reef over to the cemetery, and the uh, the mirror and I uh, placed a reef there. Okay. Nice. I, I'm. I, I'm. I must say, I completely missed that one. Um, I know we had some other things going on with the Navy side, but I, I missed that one. So sorry, I could not uh, attend. And if you go. If I can just jump in for a second, it was uh, the parade committee had made a decision that in lieu of the big parade, which was not going to happen due to COVID-19, a very small group from the committee would do a very small, socially distant uh, laying of the wreath. So it was okay. not made public. Um, we didn't expect some of the fanfare that was there. It was just a, a happy circumstance. Um, but it was not meant as uh, anything negative toward any of you on the Veterans Commission. It was just meant to be uh, something that was kept very small due to the, you know, restrictions, mm -hmm. due, you know, with right. the state. Okay. Yeah, well, I think that we there were ten or, no, fewer than 10 people anyways. Wasn't that the yes. restriction back then? Yes. 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 Okay. Now it's what? 11 yeah, we folks? did. Yeah, we did. I, I think everybody was on that phone call. We did cancel the parade for safety, yeah. and but this this thing was just an ad hoc thing that somebody had brought up that we thought we should still honor and lay reefs there at those monuments. So that's exactly what we did. You know, it wasn't. Yeah. You know. Well, thank you. Appreciate okay. that. If I Thank disappear you. from the screen, it's okay. because I'm drinking something. I'm just I'm dehydrated from yard work, so I'm just kind of either that or a straw. So uh, I'm drinking something off screen. It's not alcohol. <laughs> Got it. Well, um, if if no one has any uh, further letters or announcements, um, we can move on to unfinished business. Anybody? Uh, against moving next, moving to the next item. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting, frozen. I'm getting frozen on my end. <laughs> okay. okay. I, I can just say a little bit. We uh, emailed out uh, probably about a month ago the uh, final draft of the needs assessment report, just so people could look at it and provide any feedback. Yes. Uh, I got a, I got a couple comments. Most of it was just looks good. So uh, I didn't change anything. Mary sent the same version back out again with the agenda. So uh, I think if, if everybody's uh, comfortable with the report and the recommendations, we should probably vote on it and vote to adopt it. And then I'm not sure what we do with it at this point. If Kathy, do you uh, uh, convey the report to the, the uh, town council? Uh, as a report from the commission, how do we uh, how do we get that to the council? Well, the, there's a couple of different ways. You could you could send it just as information to them. You could ask to be an agenda item on the council meeting and present it to them and go over some details if you wanted. Right now, it would be by Zoom meeting. But you could certainly do something like that if you wanted to. Um, or we could give it to the town manager to ask him to get it out to um, the council members and it could all be emailed to him. So there's a variety of ways that we could do it. Um, and it really is up to the commission. Right now, you don't have a council liaison. We have to ask that um, someone get, get appointed. So we could um, normally we'd go right through the council liaison. But I could certainly talk with the manager which whatever way the commission would like to do it. Yeah, do you, just given your knowledge of what's going on in town government right now in Wethersfield, do you have a, a thought about what would be the best way for us to do that just to make sure it gets reviewed uh, at the appropriate time and, and isn't lost in the sauce? Sure. Um, hmm. That's a good question. <laughs> Because so, everybody's uh, getting a lot of emails right now, and so it's, I think everybody is, is just wading through their emails. Um, it, it might be, depending on how time, usually it, it might not be a bad idea to do a brief presentation to the council um, about what, what you, um, 
what this, you know, like a synopsis of it and we could email it out to them as part of the agenda. That's certainly one way to go. Um, depending on everybody's time though, you would usually, um, the commission chair or co-chair would present something like that at a council meeting just to give the council an update. Or, you know, I'm not sure if you, you probably want to want to get it out sooner rather than like if we waited till September because they generally do one meeting in July and one meeting in August. I don't know that they've set that up yet. I, I think that's the way it's on the calendar. But so, so or you could wait and we could we could ask to get a council liaison appointed and then uh, ask the council liaison to um, present it to council. So it's, it, I think it's more timing from your perspective if you'd want, uh, if you want it sooner rather than later. Mm. Are you saying uh, that we have, I'm sorry, are you saying that we have to request that somebody from the town council become a liaison? That there's no protocols for that automatically happening, just assigning one of the council members? I think it's only slipped through the cracks because of the pandemic that we're in. All right. Um, I think they were so busy at getting the budget done and then getting the next council meeting done. It, it kind of, it's, it's only been really a couple of weeks, I think. It's not something they would do right away in any case, because the mayor would have to check with um, uh, the council members to see who'd be interested in being on it. Could we ask for a member of the Board of Education to be our liaison? <laughs> kind of nice. You do want to come someone from council for a lot of a lot of good. Um, yeah. Okay. So we'll we make the uh, manager. Even I had forgotten. So I have to apologize. We didn't. We didn't even think of that um, until we were thinking about this meeting. It was like, oh, we got to get another liaison. So we can let the manager know to ask the mayor. And, uh, and then it's a mayor appointment. Sure. Doug, can I make a, can I make a suggestion? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah we can hear you. Yeah, go ahead, Rick. Uh, I would say let's maybe email it to whoever we have to mail it to the, count, the town council, and maybe at a future date when we're allowed to have a meeting that you as the chair maybe represent it on the council floor just to let them know what our what the findings were. And I think it would be a nicer way to do it on the floor and maybe we could have some of the committee come to that meeting, you know? I definitely agree with having one of us um, here or, or any of the members uh, presenting it to the council because if we don't present, obviously it, it allows other people to read it, maybe how we don't want them to read it. Um, yeah. And we, yes. You know, we can actually what we know it is yeah well, I, I definitely agree with that Rick. yeah I, okay I, I would i would recommend or uh dominate or just that doug as our chair um do the presentation and as many of us as possible definitely whenever yeah. well, before we can um before we can present it um we need to adopt it so um <laughs> I'd, uh, I'd like to move to approve the adoption of the needs assessment report. I'll, I'll just... second that. Yeah. All right, all in favor? Yeah. Aye. Aye. Looks like yeah. my son's in favor too. Um, <laughs> any opposed? I'm sorry, what's that? You, Ryan, as, chair, you, as chair, you can't make the motion. Can I make the motion? Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll second it. Yeah. Sorry, just to keep up with Robert's rules. No, you're right. Thank you. That's so cool. Um, okay, uh, the, the yeas outweigh the nays. Um, we will adopt the needs assessment report. Um, and Doug, as far as the implementation plan, um, I'm guessing that will probably cover the whole aspect of what we want to do with providing it to the town. <clears throat> to the town council and whatnot you know i i, I or, think or that's more so for the how we move forward in the town with what we discovered yeah i think that's up to us you know we're you know since the town council is not going to give us any money we're not really asking for their approval for any of this stuff unless they see something they object to 
but I think um, one of the reasons that it might be helpful to have a July meeting is to start talking about implementation um, and, and how we might go about that. Uh, so we can get into the details and maybe start the September season off with some activities, um, depending what we decided to do. There's lots of great ideas. I've been looking at Veterans Commission websites from other towns and, and we're kind of in the middle. You know, some towns do very little. They just coordinate parades and that's it. Some towns are starting to have veteran service centers uh, in their town office buildings and stuff. So, you know, we're kind of in the middle and I think our recommendations could could uh, direct us in the way of, you know, what can we do at the community center and the library to set up some veterans resource centers and, you know, things that uh, would show some real activity. How can we get a newsletter started? And if we can't afford to mail it <laughs> with the town's money, how do we get it out there? You know, uh, uh, what, what can we do? So, you know, but we should talk in detail about that when we're ready to get into those, those details. Got it. But I think we decide that, you know, unless, unless the town has any particular guidance for us, you know, the, the town council. But um, so just going back to that last vote, though, so did we agree then that we would maybe send this report to the town manager now with a request for a new liaison to be assigned and then a request to speak at a future town council meeting when we can be present? And, and I would suggest all of us be there and that we have a, you know, a group presentation or a co-presentation with the co-chairs, uh, you know, something like that. Yes. Sounds good. I agree. Yes. No, yes. I agree. Sounds good. Awesome. So Mary, are you the person that does that or does Kathy? Forward, forward this ahead, report. <laughs> Do I? <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get it to him. And Mary would normally be the person that would send it to the manager as your staff liaison. Awesome. I, okay. And I will do that. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wasn't sure whose lap that would end up in, but uh, we appreciate and, uh, you both. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So um, with that, uh, we'd like to move down to the uh, next line item, which is the Commission of Vacancies, which is a hot topic right now. Yeah. Um, as we all know, June, which we're in right now, is the end of our prior term. Um, and they will be, uh, most of you have probably received emails or calls about whether you stay um, with the commission moving forward, um, which has to be approved when it goes through the whatever council um i'm not we believe that it's based off of your if you're democrat if you're republican they'll go up through the chains and they'll vote put your name up and say yeah or nay um so hopefully everybody received the call i would love everybody to stay on the commission because i think we have a great team um uh, uh, just as a note uh, i'm on for for two years so i have another year to go in my on my journey uh, yes yes, you, yes so you were okay, okay. Yeah, and I mentioned uh, to, to Doug when I told him about that, that perhaps we can figure out a way to have staggered um, uh, commission dates because that can create continuity if we need to. I don't know how you do that now, but perhaps with this term coming up, I mean, I will be my second year next year, but you all, if you're validated in a position, then you would have two more years then maybe the new members would, you know, I just know how that would work, but I think that staggered would be better than not. I just don't know how to do the mechanics of it. I think that's a great point, the staggering. I mean, in most, you know, that's why there's a four-year term and a two-year term for the Board of Education, I believe, yep. um, to keep that staggering going. So um, I, I think that's a great idea. I guess we can talk to our liaison um, once we uh, know who that is and see how we can uh, maybe make something like that happen unless uh, your Mary knows how we might be able to do something like that. We would just have to look up how, um, how the terms were specified when the Veterans Commission was established. So I don't happen to have that in front of me, but we could look at that. And it, it was two, it, it was two year terms. 
All right. It was a term for two years, and you could either get, you could either be reappointed to the term, or you could, you know, resign. But I'm pretty sure the letter I got said a two-year term. I think that's right. Yeah, we'd have to see how your terms were set up. All right. Well, we could maybe also um, see if we could get new members to be appointed for a one-year term initially, uh, since we may need as many as two new members. And then that way they'd automatically be on the same cycle as Frank. So three of us would be continuing and then Frank and the two new members would be, or four of us continue and Frank and the two new members would be reappointed next year or something. Right. They would allow that. Yeah, that, that, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, I think that would work. Now, um, with this, I know prior we had conversation of um, names that were, you know, people that we wanted. I believe one of them was Ryan, uh, your friend, Ellen. He's moving to Alaska. <laughs> Alaska? I know. Uh, he just got, you know, a new opportunity, and they're literally moving, like, in two weeks. So they'll wow. be gone for... Now, what was the other member's name? Uh, there was two women that we were talking about appointing, and I have their emails. They were supposed okay. to come to our next meeting, but we didn't have it. So I almost messaged them for this, but I wanted to see how this whole Zoom thing would go before I headed them in. You know what I mean? So Understood. if we do a July meeting, which I think maybe we should, I will reach out to them and have them sort of attend so we can meet them and see what we think. Got it. So do you have their names? Because there's one that I've been talking to in the other school, and I want to make sure I'm not overlapping you. Um, Her and I just a friend. She's a prior, she's a prior neighbor. Um, I'm not trying to, you know, weigh it and you know, have more Navy than anything, but why not? I'm just trying to think of um, yeah, one they're, of them they're, I have was Jennifer Glick. That was yep. one name. They're in the minutes. Okay. Uh, Jennifer Glick and Sandra Rhodes were the that's two the names yep. you had put in. Okay. Yep. That's that's what it was. Okay. Who do oh, you mine have, was Ryan? Uh, Tegan Willard. Tegan Willard? Hmm. I don't know that one. Male or female? Female. Oh. Interested? Uh, nurse Corps um, prior, and she, yeah, she's, she's pretty interested. Um, oh. She's, I think she's a member at First Church over uh, Main Street. Mm -hmm. oh, sorry. Spell her first name. Uh, T E G A N. G, zebra? Uh, no, T as in Tango. Tegan. Got it. Thank you. No worries. Okay. Um, I would have her come if we decide to add people to our next Zoom meeting, you know. Couldn't hurt to have another person that could be either a alternate or a potential member. Got it. Got it. Um, Kathy, for the commission vacancies, do we we don't need to make any motions on that, correct? Because we we're not really adopting anything as far as the vacancies. That's correct. Yeah, you don't have to. It's really okay. council that does that. But what you could also suggest to the people that are interested is. They could email the town clerk and let the town clerk know they're interested and she could pass their names on to the two of uh, the committees that make the appointments and, and they do they have a screening process of some sort. Got it. Talk to people. So Got that, it. Yeah, yeah, that might speed the process up a little bit if, if the screening can get some names of people that are interested instead of them trying to also recruit people. Right. right. We, we also have an opening for one alternate. Two. Two, two alternates. alternates. Okay, so, so we're yeah. looking for four people. Yes. Right. And just, just for Rick's information, Rick, I don't know if um, you had heard, uh, Frank reported to me through the town Democrats that, the, uh, that Dan Camilleri has decided not to continue on the commission. So, um, okay. He's, his seat would be vacant. And and I was just curious, Rick, has your political party contacted you about continuing? My political party? Yeah, I didn't want to assume that you were a Democrat or Republican, but I know no, that- No, I'm a Republican. 
And my my term, I have one more year on my term. Oh, you do? Okay. Yes. Because yeah, uh, the rest of us have, like, uh, Helen, Ryan, and I were, were reaching the end of our term, mm -hmm. our two-year term. Believe it or not, it's been two years. So I think you are as well. But you, you might want to just let your Republican Party liaison, whoever that is, know that you're interested in continuing to serve. We hope you are. Well, I'm not really involved with the Republican Party in town, uh, uh, but I'll talk to somebody. I'm, I suppose I can talk to the mayor. <laughs> yeah, he's a Republican. <laughs> I mean, I know his mom. You know. Stay yeah. there. Stay up the Santa Cruz. Mother, his mother, his mother presented me with. Uh, put, I, I went into the Veterans Hall of Fame in 207, and my granddaughter and the governor presented my medal to me. Nice. That's very nice. So, I, I bought my medals at the PX. Well, I have some of those too. <laughs> <laughs> but I know you have some serious medals that we don't have to get into. So, <laughs> but I have a P38 medal. Yeah, that's the most important one, right? That's right. Without that, you don't eat. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Anyway, and for sorry, somebody sorry, who don't Ryan. know what that is, it's it's a can opener. Oh. <laughs> we used to have P38 races when I was eating sea rats. Yeah. <laughs> that sounds like an important one. You got it. <laughs> I still have my my dog tag. So. Yep. I was just gonna say every uh, every soldier had them on their dog tags. Right. Yep. All right. So what are we doing? We have three female candidates for two full time and two alternate positions. So do we need we need uh, an additional uh, alternate or full time? Yeah. Um, at the retreat. I handed out this list that came out of the surveys. Yeah. If you all still have that list, I might just look through it over the next few weeks and, and see if there's anybody that you, you like uh, or know that would be interested. But as a good start, maybe if, if Helen would ensure that Jennifer and Sandra know about the July meeting, if we have it, and then Ryan, if you want to invite Tegan to zoom in you know, to the July meeting, We'd at least get a chance to interact with them a little bit. And yeah, I like confirm. that. Definitely. There was a, a, a young uh, a soldier who accompanied Ryan. Um, do you remember what his name was? Yes, it's Adam. Mm -hmm. He expressed any interest having attended that, that meeting? Uh, I didn't hear much from him. Um, he did also move out of state. I think he's in North Carolina right now, but um, he may not be a candidate at this point. Okay. Yeah. So is there any particular group, subgroup that we would want to target in terms of uh, another candidate? Uh, minority, uh, I, 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 and again, overlaid with, I suppose, they go through their respective town committees, but it's the town council who decides. I don't know how that works. Uh, with the, with the Republicans uh, in this leadership role, do they, I don't know how that works. I mean, do we simply say these are our folks? No, it comes through the committees, right? The committees, not the council, the committees. The committees, okay. And then who approves them? It, I believe, and Kathy, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, I believe after the committee does it, it just goes to the council floor to approve it. I didn't hear that last part. I didn't hear that last part. All right. After the committee uh, selects and, and um, you know, picks the people, it goes up to the town council floor for them to approve it. Oh, okay. Well, if that's the case, and we came up with four people, two alternatives, two full time, kind of axiomatic then, wasn't it? Yeah, but you, you the, the one thing that will want to be done is obviously, um, you know, we don't see Democrat or Republican in our meetings, but what they would want is to show some equality between the two 
um, when they select those people. So yeah, yeah. What I'm saying is that if we only offer them four candidates, to us it's 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 uh, part you know politically blind. We don't really care, but we we care who we have. We don't care if they're Venusians, if they're you know, uh, we care who we want. So if we only offer them four, then mm -hmm. it's yeah. Yeah, I, I think we can recommend people, and then it's it's up to them to decide who they ultimately select. Uh, and as Ryan said, you know, we, we were all appointed when there was a 6-3 Democrat majority on town council. Yeah. Now it's 6-3 Republicans, so they may want more Republicans on some of the committees. I don't know. Yeah. So well, it's it's up to them, but, but I think we should recommend four strong candidates, and then we'll see what they do. Yeah. I agree. All right. So um, with the commission vacancies, I think we um, hit that pretty hard. Um, and Rick, I know you already kind of gave us a, a report of the, the prior Memorial Day, um, you know, happenings and, and how that went down. Um, is there any uh, further information as far as, um, you know, I know some places are doing makeup stuff once we open up and, and, you know, just reaching out to people. Is there anything else with the Memorial Day parade? Um, you want to let us know? No, actually, I thought we all agreed we would we would keep the same thing for next year and honor Jimmy and and Danny. But I'm not sure. You know, I Danny has uh, come off of the uh, the commission. I'm hoping he's around and maybe we can do something for him on Veterans Day and Jimmy. Uh, other than that, that that's a, that's all I have on. Uh, you know, and then you know, more it'll be the same whatever. Weekend it falls in May, we'll have it, and then we'll, I'm hopefully I'm hoping we'll uh, eventually by October or whatever the first of the year we'll be back to having meetings on with people and faces. Yeah, I think it's a yeah. good idea for them to uh, stick with the party plan, saying that it's you know only thing different is going to be a new year. Um, if the same people that they had already some uh, you know, committed it could stay committed for the, the next year, I think that'd be a great. Um, great idea to keep everything as it already was. All right. All right. Uh, give me one second to pull this up. All right. And uh, where do we go? Sorry, guys. I'm using my wife's computer, and it's not my computer. <laughs> there we go. All right. I'm back. All right. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, we can move on to new business at this time. Um, the line item for new business is we spoke about possibly having a July meeting. Um, with that, we had a date in mind, and that is what I was trying to pull up for you all to make sure. Um, July 8th? July, was it yeah, July? Yeah, minutes are looking. Yeah, it's saying July 8th. July 8th. Now that would be the that would technically be the Wednesday after July Fourth weekend. Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted to put that on the board and make sure. I think I'm not sure if everybody agreed and said they were okay with that, but I wanted to at least put that out there again to see how everybody feels about that. Do you want to move it to the following week? Because that being Fourth of July week, people might be away. You want to move it to like maybe the twelfth or the fourteenth, or whatever day we're going to agree to have this meeting. If we moved it, it would be the following Wednesday, which would be the seventh. Uh, I'm sorry, no, let me get 15. that wrong. Fifteenth. Yeah. Um, so, and I I stated that after the fifteenth, I would not be available. I'm uh, leaving on orders. But the 8th or 15th would be fine for me. I just want to see what's fine for everyone else. No, well, the 8th is fine with me. I just was, you know, looking at 8th is 4th good of me. July week. Yeah, I'm good with that. Uh, yeah, let's stick with the 8th. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so want to make a motion for us to adopt a July 8th meeting, a uh, uh, summer meeting. All in favor? Nope. So moved. All right. So move, thank you. Second. All right. Anyone against? Okay. The yeas outweigh the nays. So we are adopting July 8th at 6 p.m. our July summer meeting. 
Uh, Kathy, what are the town regs after the uh, 17th? Uh, can we go to a, uh, a physical meeting with uh, the governor said, you know, he's, he's, okay. he's okay with that. So, I mean, I forget what the top number is, but uh, do we, does it apply to the towns or does the town have to decide that? The town gets to decide it, even though the governor says it's okay to do. That's the first step. And then we also talk with our health district director as to what they think. I'm guessing your July meeting will still be a Zoom meeting, just based on what we're hearing now. So, um, but we'll, we'll send it out and we'll let you know. Right now, they're not saying any meetings in the building yet. Okay. Yeah, believe it or not, us in the military, we've been having our drill weekends via phone conference and Zoom meetings all all day Saturdays and Sundays, and we're planning to do it July as well. So, uh, you have to wear a uniform? No, I've been like this for the last three months. <laughs> Is that beard okay in the Navy? No, no video required or anything. Uh, how about that beard, Brian? I mean, is that that doesn't look strapped to me. Way out of regulation. Okay, gotcha. okay, good for you. <laughs> Maybe you're on a submarine. Hey, Ryan, can we uh, just go back up under old business to the budget yes. request item? And uh, I was hoping that... Do I have the... I'm sorry. Do I have the old one up? I was wondering if maybe Kathy could uh, update us on the town budget approved that was approved and we did submit a request for funding, Thank which you. I'm sure was not approved, but just want to... Yeah, unfortunately, because it was a new request and uh, the council uh, was very much looking at not increasing the budget. So a lot of things were cut and the commission request was one of them. They just um, um, they, they just didn't feel it was the time for any new initiatives to fund. And also th they cut a lot of stuff. So. It, it was just a, um, they, and they wanted to, because of being in the uh, COVID-19, they were trying very hard not to raise taxes just because of the situation also. So there was a lot of things going on. So I'd, I'd be happy to answer any questions, but that was sort of where it came from. So, uh, Mary, I think you had told us on just our call with Ryan and myself that the, uh, $5,000 for Memorial Day Parade did get uh, included in the budget. Is that correct? For next year, yeah. yeah right now? Year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Yeah. The parade was fine. Uh, that's good. They didn't lose any money. On that topic, is it possible, just throwing it out, that we could have some type of a, a fundraiser, God forbid, I should say raffle, because that's all sorts of legal implications. To to get enough money to do a mailing, uh, I'll put in a hundred dollars myself right there. Okay, so I'll, I'll I'll find the problem. But could we do a raffle or is there I got a raffle? Could we do some type of a fundraiser to get uh, raise enough money that we need? You can, as a commission, do a fundraiser. Different commissions do that. Um, uh, our youth advisory board does it for uh, campership fund. So yeah. there are different, you could certainly have an initiative to look at something like that. We just have to make sure whatever the fundraiser was that it had to be appropriate. Okay. We, can we get a sponsor or sponsors? Yeah. Sure. Uh, I, I know businesses in town that would be glad to put in, you know, some, I mean, we ought to figure out how much we need and then, you know, uh, and, and fill it back, fill it by a sponsorship of $50 or something uh, and with your name on it. I think we get plenty that way. And <laughs> what we could what we could do is have the town set up an account that could be for the Veterans Commission and it would be funds that you would raise would go in there and they wouldn't be touched because you raised them and then you would determine how to spend them. Okay. I'll opt for that. I would be glad to work on that. I have nothing else to do except the art work. <laughs> Yeah, great okay. idea. Well, like I say, I'll, I'll put in a hundred for the Frank Cena Incorporated. <laughs> but I think we should look at that for the next meeting in terms of um, what, how much money we need, and then 
what are the sources of that would be? Uh, uh, and I got a fundraiser, so I don't know what what we would give to for a prize or an item or something like that. But I think that corporate sponsorships, we can go back to Dunkin' Donuts, you know, it's uh, and ask them. I'm sure they spent a, a fifty or hundred dollars worth of donuts. I mean, I, I have no doubt that we could raise several hundred dollars. Yeah. I think um, with our next with our next meeting, when we talk about our implementation plan, that could be a line item um, right there to carry into that because that pretty much falls into why we are doing the needs assessment, and that mailer is very connected to that. So I think that's right. definitely right. something. So it's a matter of um, the paper stock, uh, and maybe we can get staples to donate that. Uh, the yeah, I I, I I feel real good about you know, being able to to uh, fully fund that. And I, I will go out and make the calls. Helen said she could run door to door, and I'll just get on my bike. And we yeah. I would love to. <laughs> well, then I think we should put that up for next month. Let's figure out what it is we want to do. Let's figure out how much money we need, and then discuss the best way to raise money. I would. Uh, I might just do my own little focus group of who would be interested in doing that. Realtors in town. I mean, really. I mean, it, 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 the sky's the limit. Just, just make sure you have a clear message of what you'd like to use the funds for. Absolutely, right. yeah. And I think right. that can be the fact that we would go into a town fund, make checks payable to the whatever it is. Uh, that's a great idea. Would it be tax deductible? Yes. Okay. Well, I can't say. I, I can say we can get donating to the town. It's tax deductible, but it depends for each person. Taxes, how that works. Okay. Right. Mary, can we put that down as? Yeah. Can we put that down as one of the line items for our uh, next meeting, Mary? I wrote it as add to the agenda. I see. I know. I know. I know. Just just following up, touching bases. You know, in all corners. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So that's that's my fault. I actually had the old one. The original one that uh, was sent out, I have this updated one that I'm looking at now with the budget request on there. So thank you, Doug, for catching that. All right. Um, are there any other, I mean, I know we just had uh, Mr. Cena uh, give us his um, heart on the mailers, um, but is there any uh, other board member comments that uh, anyone would like to share? It's chief to you, by the way. I apologize. Thank you. The white hair, it fits. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, two questions for um, yes. Mary and one for Chris. Mary, would you be able to confirm with the assessor's office that we will have access to their address list from the most recent veterans tax uh, benefit program? So the because our whole newsletter plan hinges on the ability to use their address list. I will I will contact them and make sure that or ask if that will be available to us. Yeah, thank you cuz and I don't know what their cycle is exactly like when they have the most recent list available but we need to be able to run off mailing labels from their list somehow at the town office to go on this newsletter if we if we do it of course, we have to have something to put in the newsletter. We'll get to that later. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and with what Kathy said, too, I think if you just said it's for a newsletter, that would be the B answer. I think we need something a little bit more meaty. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like the, the, the purpose of the newsletter and you know, what, we, what, what the town and town veterans will get out of the newsletter as opposed to. So we need to think about priming that pump in terms of what the newsletter yeah. might include. Possible, you know, a, a prototype of articles. I've got some ideas. <laughs> um, and my other question was just for Chris. Um, Chris, before you came on the line, I had asked about requests for support from veterans over this past couple months. And I just wondered, I think you're the one probably that gets most of those. I know you can't tell us names of people, but would you be able to characterize what kind of support has been provided to veterans during the COVID-19 anything unusual? 
Uh, yes, yeah, so I'd be glad to expand on that. Um, we get we have gotten uh, calls from veterans for food. Some of the veterans are ongoing clients, but there's also new people that have called. We've uh, recently had a call from a younger man who's looking for a ramp, and I directed him to a couple agencies that that I know that um, you know provide this kind of resource to him, mm-hmm. and. Uh, but mainly, you know, food and just checking in to see, you know, that they're um, that they're okay. So people sometimes are anxious uh, because they're stuck at home and isolated. Right. So, you know, we, we did talk with the veterans that called and just checked on them, make sure that they're okay, um, that they had food. And um, we do uh, put out bags of food by appointment. And there's no contact between us and the person coming to pick up the food. Um, so, you know, those the food uh, items were made up for veterans along with other people that needed that that help. And uh, people are calling in now, veterans and others, for the renter's rebate program where they get a check back. Veterans were calling about their stimulus check. Mm. So, we, you know, we, we answered a lot of questions about that in SNAP. Uh, the food stamps program. Um, earlier on, they they were helped with the energy assistance program for their heating um, heating situation. Um, all kinds of concerns, but those are probably the main ones. Transportation. I know the veterans look for transportation through dial a ride. Um, trying to think here. That's pretty much about it. From you know from the beginning of the year. That's a lot. Yeah. 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 And then the veterans, too, you know, they're on the tax relief program, but they were grandfathered in per the uh, governor's request. Um, but new, you know, people, are, uh, new uh, residents and veterans are calling, so they still had to apply for tax relief for homeowners or for their property. Yeah. Who's delivering the food, uh, Chris? I'm sorry, I didn't. I didn't hear you. I said, who who was uh, responsible for delivering uh, any of the the food share uh, items? Uh, you have your own staff, or were you calling on external staff to deliver that? Well, we we don't deliver anything, but um, you know, people still drop off donations. Yeah. And then people people call, uh, needing food. They have food insecurity needs. So we give them an appointment. There's usually there's certain days that are, uh, you know, made for for food uh, packages. So it's Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And I happen to work. You know, I go into the office on Thursday. Okay. So if I have uh, 15 people that need food that day, I'm you know we give out two bags of food. So I make up all those bags of food, and those are put out on a table in front of the town hall with their names on it. And, um, you know, they have an appointment and they come in and pick up their food and we schedule people so that they have no contact with us and we have no contact with them. So there's no, you know, promoting the virus. (laughs) And, um, you know, so that works out very well. And then, you know, people have questions, you know, about programs, home care, any, anything you could think of (laughs) with people problems, you know, people call in. So we try to be available to them. But the food, you know, is we're very thankful here in this community because people come in and drop off food all the time. And uh, I know recently I think the First Church of Christ just had a big donation of food. But, I mean, food comes in from everywhere, private sources. Uh, food share, Christina also ordered roast beef uh, and um Items from Food Share, so we had that to give to people. Uh, Unico did a fundraiser, and we were able to give out, you know, gift cards to people in their bags. Um, D and D Market also gave a huge donation, so those gift cards were also um, dispensed and given out. So I mean, it's it's wonderful, you know, that we have all the resources coming in, support from the community to be able to meet the needs of the residents here in town. It's a pleasure. So I hope I've answered your question. <laughs> yes, very much so. I'm, I'm already seeing an article in the newsletter. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, thank you yep. very much for that, Chris. Thank you, Chris. Yep. My pleasure. My pleasure. If you have any other questions, I'll be glad to answer. Okay. Well, before we adjourn, is there any other business that needs to be presented? Okay. Uh, uh, Kathy, just just back on on meeting. Are you are you reasonably sure, uh, mostly sure that it'll be another Zoom meeting, or is there any chance that we could meet in another month together? I don't want to be a dead horse here, but I I I don't see it right now. I just based on what we know today, but we also know everything changes every day. Uh -huh. And honestly, the town is trying to be very conservative. We're taking direction from the health district director, who's very conservative, and he's concerned about spiking. So I think we're going to know something the end of June if they're spiking. That's why I'm being cautious. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I get it. <laughs> okay. Um, do we have a motion to adjourn? Yes, I will motion to so adjourn. Moved. Okay. So moved. Uh, all right. Um, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Right. Any against? All right. <laughs> the yeas outweigh the nays, so the meeting is <laughs> adjourned at 6.53 p.m. June 10th, 2020. Good job, Ryan. All right. Well done. It's a work in Thank you. I will That's now important. stop the recording. Okay, now who leaves first?